daddy i honor you i thank god for you and i love you so much uh, this is a journey i want to talk about uh, women i know you know about endometriosis endo and this is a journey that i started when i was in high school and up to up to the day i i i I met mama and this journey of healing it started way back in vet when uh this endo i believe women you understand it is so painful you cannot even explain it makes you feel like you are sick that time of that time of the month you know so uh after i met mama i remember back then i used to there is no herbal medicine I had not taken until one day Mama told me uh, when uh, Mama there was a there was uh, sometimes back you were you were prophesying in in, um, in Facebook and I remember I had gone to Kasarani because this this journey was so much for me and it was. I felt like oh God why me until there was a time I, I felt like any time it comes. I feel like, oh God, my life is ending today. Because it could be, it's as if it's malaria. And when I feel it's like your, the world is ending. So that time, Mama, I went to Kasarani and Mama saw I had gone to, someone, someone referred me to a certain, a certain, a certain herbalist. And, and, and she told me, that man will help you. But as, as Sam always said, Mama is a sniper. <laughs> <laughs> as as some always say, Mama is a sniper. That day I was I was given a whole five liter bottle of water. <laughs> a whole five liter and, 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 and that doctor told me this one I'm sure it is going to work for you. And after two days when mama was prophesying, I and mama said, Your typing is your key. Your typing is your key. So I was typing Amen, Amen, Amen until Mama saw me. And she said, uh, that girl, that girl, Ruth, uh, what's her name, what's her name, Ruth? I am seeing a whole bottle, of, I'm seeing what? <laughs> Are you doing marine thing? Huh? You do <laughs> and me, I was so, I did not even comment. <laughs> I did not even comment because I was so shocked. And me and my husband, in fact, he told me, guy, kwani mama anona mbaka kwa kabat. That Sunday, I did not come to church because me, I, was, I was scared. I, mean, I did not come to church and I said, Kai, if Mama can see Kibuya, Iko Kuko. Hey. And, that, and that is the day I, 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 I started now feeling, wow, this is where I want to be now. This is where I want to be. So, uh, Mama told me, stop taking it because what, whatever you're entering into, you cannot be able to come out. Yes, you will be healed, you'll, you'll get whatever you want to get, but it will not be your baby. You get? So that time, uh, again, I was not, then in Lukwa Bado 50-50, I went to Mama Lucy, I got um, um, the gynecologist, I was referred to either Kenyatta, Ama in Eldoret, and Pisha, you know it, that Muindi Gaina. So she told me, uh, I was scanned and everything, and I was told I have a block of nini, uh, fallopian tubes. So I, and I told Mama, Mama, I've been scheduled to, 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 to undergo a surgery. She told me, you cannot do that. I'm not seeing any surgery in you. Just hold on. It doesn't matter how long it is going to take, but just hold on. Right now, as we are talking, for the last six months, I've been monitoring. There is... And it is normal. Everything is okay now. Oh, there is no pain. Yeah. 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 And and one thing, as mom as Mama said, hold on, because there was a time she prophesied to me, and she told me, you said with your own, with your heart, because some people were mocking you, and you said, I will hold on to, I will hold on to Mama until even it is going to take how long. But my God has settled me. The last month of the month of settlement, and I think God. Has I am healed, amen. Mama, thank you so much. Amen. Please.